Hello everyone. Welcome to this course on finite element analysis using ANSYS Workbench. In this particular session, I'll be taking you through a detailed steps of how to download and install ANSYS in your local machine. It is important that we download the ANSYS software from genuine resource that is from the ANSYS website itself. ANSYS website is going to give us a guidelines, the download link and the demonstration of how to download and install the software in our local machine. If you have a browser like a Chrome, you just have to go to the Chrome and type there ANSYS, A-N-S-Y-S. Click on the first listing that is engineering simulation software that takes us to the home page of the ANSYS. Hover the pointer to the ANSYS students and academic will read out the statement over here. The ANSYS academic software package is available for teachers to incorporate into their curricula, students to utilize for assignment and researchers to advance their projects. So this is free for all the students and the researchers and also the educators. We click on start over here. So ANSYS for students, ANSYS is committed for setting today's students up for success tomorrow by providing a free simulation engineering software licenses to students at all levels. Support the learning with the free courses, support community and a wealth of student focused tutorials are available over here. We'll come down and locate the link. This is ANSYS student download link. We'll click on that. It will take us to the download link. The moment we click over here, that is going to start downloading the software. Before we download that, we have to read certain guidelines and the steps that is given by the ANSYS. So first of all, what exactly that bundle includes? That bundle includes most of the applications and the features of the ANSYS, which can be utilized for simulation of almost any domain or any physics like ANSYS mechanical, multiphysics, workbench, autodyne, space claim, polyflow, CFD, etc. And this particular license of the software that we are going to download will have the license valid for 12 months. Later, it can be renewed. The previous releases are also available here to download, which based on your interest, you can download that. Since it is a academic version, it has certain limitations on the problem size that you are going to solve. But this is a good number that still you can work on and solve the problems. If at all the problem is complex, then you have to go for the uh, commercial versions of the softwares. The structural problem, the limitation is 128,000 node. And for the fluid physics, it is around 512,000 cells and nodes. About the system requirement, the system must have 4 GB of RAM and 25 GB of hard drive space for installation because the ANSYS software package comparatively is of a bigger size, which requires minimum 25 GB of space. Computer must have a C drive present and the processor should be of the workstation class. It should be open GL capable and professional workstation class 3D. Right now, whatever the computers available in the market with a good graphics, they should work for running this application. The windows should be of uh, Microsoft Windows 10 with a 64 bit. The download speed depends upon the internet connectivity that you have. Now on the installation steps is concerned that 
the computer must meet all the technical requirement and you must have the administrative privilege for installing this software in your computer. If at all any previous ANSYS software products are there, those need to be uninstalled before installing this. Once we download this package, it will come in a zip file that we need to unzip. And from the unzip folder, we have to run a setup with administrative rights. Then the process is very simple. We just have to click on the right arrow next, next. It is going to complete the installation. I will demonstrate that to you now. So we'll click on download ANSYS student 2022 R2. This is the latest version as on today. The moment we click on that download starts. Since I have that already downloaded, I cancel this installation and go to the downloads. You can see here it has downloaded in the particular folder or you may get only this zip file that we need to right click and extract here if you have the WinRAR already installed in your computer. Once you extract that, you will get this folder. This particular folder will have the setup file at the last. Click on that, right click and say here run as administrator. It is going to ask a message. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Right now you are not able to see that on a screen because it's a pop-up message. I say yes to that. The moment we say yes, it is going to take us to the installation wizard. Agree to the terms and conditions and click on next, next till the installation is complete. I just exit this installation because it is already installed in my computer. We go to the start and type here workbench and click on the ANSYS Workbench 2022 R1 or R2, whichever version you have. These versions should not make much difference. This is the launch page of ANSYS. It may take some time during the first opening of the software. After opening the software, if you get kind of a, a survey uh, messages, you just have to take a decision by selecting the options over there and um, deal with that particular window. Finally, you should be able to see this window opening in your computer. This shows that the ANSYS installation is successful. I hope this has given you a very good understanding about how to locate and download the ANSYS software in your machine. Once again, I say that the only genuine source of downloading this software is ANSYS website under the students and academic section. For any questions, you can reach out to me on my phone or WhatsApp. That is 9481635839. Or you also can be in touch with me on my email caewwhelp at gmail.com. You also can visit my YouTube channel that is GRS CAD CAE. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.